here we are. I got me some shulker shells. Oh, uh, 1.10 bug. Dragon head in inventories renders incorrectly. It looks like it's rendering facing up and to the left. Don't know what's going on there, but it is. So, welcome to Minecraft Land Party. This is Theron, and uh, that's right. We are on Minecraft 1.11. 1 1.11. 1 hey, cooperate. Stop. Okay. So, I need some chests. And, um, and we now have... We now have a few new things, like shulker shells. And I've been waiting to do this purple shulker box. I've got five of them. This is super cool. Um, these, in case you don't know, but you probably do, are uh, basically like backpacks. So if I want, oh, and I can also do this. I think I can do it with just one. So I think I can do it in here, but you can, make them oh you can make them different colors look at that blue and then uh, I've got some dyes over here right yeah here we go I want to make one red and you can probably name them in a in, in, in an anvil as well I assume you can um, but one thing I want to do is uh oh let's uh i believe you can put them inside an ender chest oh my gosh so this is super cool so i can take this i can load it up with stuff so i can uh i can go ahead and put it down on the ground open it up i can put no you can't put other shulker boxes inside a shulker box but you could can put you know stuff and then break it and then pick it up and all that stuff is still inside. And then you can take that and put it inside an ender chest. This is the coolest thing in the world. Now I've got this ender chest and I can come over here and I can put it down right here, open it up, pull out that shulker box and put it down. And you can, uh, you can place them sideways too, look at this. Yeah, uh, and then uh, take out the stuff that you had in there. It's pretty cool. So, and then you break them and pick them back up. Pick, boop. So, I want to rearrange this because now, if you had 27 of these things, you'd have 27 times the ender chest capacity that you do now, which is pretty freaking cool. So what I'm thinking is I want to do like a red shulker box with all my redstone stuff, a blue shulker box with like potion brewing stuff in it, and then maybe one that is just blocks, like all this kind of stuff. And then there's some stuff I've been wanting to carry in the shulker, in the ender chest uh, that uh, I haven't been able to just because there isn't enough space because they don't make large ender chests. But if I could do all the blocks and everything into a single shulker box, stick it in there, that'll have plenty of room. And I still have a couple left over that I can go do something like this. Uh, and the reason I have shulker boxes, I went out into the end to that end city where I found the uh, ship, the end ship, and got my elytra, which has since been lost. And I went back to that end city, and there are. Whoa, that was kind of weird. There are still some, uh, still some shulkers in the end city. Uh, so I went and killed them and pick up their shells. And then VaxFX went into the end, found a different end city that was close nearby. Did not have a ship, so he was not able to get an elytra. But I uh, went into there and uh, picked up a few things and then he got uh, got himself killed by an Enderman, which is uh, which is unfortunate. And then he went back and got killed again. And uh, on hard difficulty, the end is is a bit um, um, the the end is a bit uh, challenging. Oh, cool, good. 
I was thinking to myself as I walked out of the out of the thing. I put down my ender chest and I don't have another one. Did I hear? A, I thought I heard a spider. So I need to get back to leveling this, and then I also need to get back to um. I need to get back to the uh, my super large project, which I haven't even shown on camera yet. I don't think so. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to do this. See, you can just go load up, boop, and fill that guy up, and then fill this guy up. Oops. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, so this will make transporting large quantities of items much easier. I need three more. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then I pop and pop. And now I'm carrying two whole ender chests, or two whole regular sized chests full of sand. And I can go stick them in here and look at that. And then I could actually come and grab um, more sand. And I've got another, uh, actually, let's, let's, take advantage of the fact that I have another shulker box here which I can fill up with even more so this is going to make transporting large quantities of items much much easier um, and then here I need to just leave one space for the shulker box do that there look at that so I've got 27 stacks of sand here, and I've got another 54 stacks in there. Pretty freaking cool. Okay, and I've got two more that I could have filled up, but those are my dedicated ones, and I'm going to start working on getting those filled up the way I want them. Cool. So, anyway... Just a quick little update to show that. I've been waiting to make those hooker boxes for uh, so I could do it on camera. And I needed to transport some sand over. So that's, uh, I think that's it. Nothing, not a whole lot else has changed. Oh, you know what? Hang on, let me drop this off and then let's go take a look at, how, at Vex's progress on his castle. Ooh. So as you can see, Things have expanded a bit, and we moved the portal inside. So this is now, we're inside Vex's castle. Look at all that glass. This dome is super cool. And uh, I think he used a different tool than plots that gives you sort of a precision thing. And so if you look at it, it's kind of hard to see under the new moon, but it, it's kind of hard to see under this light, but you can tell, whoa, here we go. Um, that there's like recurring oh there's one there there's like recurring circles it's pretty cool it's, it's got a slightly fractal sort of look to it and then he's going to build up here as well um i think he's going to enclose these with the glass enclosures as well so he's got this whole sort of inside garden thing going on which is pretty cool and then uh these guys and this is a neat effect so he's got they're holding the banners and it's like they're strapped across and he's holding them up on on a string here so that they actually the carpet can go up there so he's got that and he's and he built out his uh, library which i didn't bring he's on right now so i can't do too much but i didn't bring over the the flower pot um i think it's clear but we have this kind of recurring uh not really a prank it's just kind of a stupid practical joke uh where he planting of flower somewhere in his uh in his base and then he finds it and then he goes and sticks it somewhere in my place and then it just keeps going back and forth not not the most clever thing in the world but it's uh it amuses me so yeah i don't think too much else has changed over here I mean, that's, this is a big change, but look at it from up here. That's super cool looking. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 
and then he's got this up here I could fall down there if you aren't careful so this isn't the most effective rail in the world not sure where he is he might be in the nether I saw him going into the gold farm earlier is this glass oh yeah so he's got a skylight here over the library oh, pretty cool um, one other thing to show you and I don't know that I can get there before it gets dark but we will try um, let me show you my super large desert project which I mentioned but not uh, not actually shown on camera I don't think Hello, Mr. Wither Skeleton. Let me go see if I can uh, get a Wither Skull out of you. Please don't despawn while I'm walking your direction. Oh, there's all kinds of badness here. die you can die oh no no you can't kill him oh you jerk drat okay Oh, you can stop it, too. Stupid ghasts. So here I'm partway down this hallway that goes to the, uh, the modified Taiga Island. And I did this. I found a spot out in the desert that's big enough to build what I want to build. And let me go show it to you. Oh, boy. So yeah, so here I am on top of a big pile of sand and it's a little difficult to get a sense of scale from up here, but this area is gargantuan. So I lit the hole, I ringed it out and lit it all up. This used to be more, the water used to come in here and I filled it all in. Um, I need, and I tore down a little bit of the landscaping there. I need to tear down some more of this, like in the corner here and in the corner there. Um, and there's this village that was here, and it's, uh, completely abandoned. There are no village, there were no villages here when I got here. And, and I don't think it was one of these, maybe it was, maybe it was a zombie villager village, whatever they're called, but I don't know if there's even any doors. So there's a door here. But most of these structures don't even have doors, so it wasn't a very good village in any event. Um, I'm not going to tear it down, but I'm... Yeah, there's only the one... Uh, two doors. Three doors. Okay, so there's a few There's a few houses here. Um, but there were no villagers. Uh, so, so, yeah. I don't know what, uh, what the deal was with this. Um, and maybe I got a little too close at one point and without realizing it and all the, the villagers got their faces eaten by the zombies. Don't know. But it's going to be incorporated into my very big build in a way after manner of speaking, I think. We will see. Is that normal for these slabs to be on top of the, uh, the blacksmith place here? I don't know. And I already looked in here. There wasn't much. Oh, some iron pants. Actually, those could go in the visitor center. That's not bad. So, so yeah. Um, it'd be nice if they put some loot in these in these furnaces. At least some some uh, coal or something, so you could cook up food if you needed. But yeah, it's an empty village. So this area is kind of gargantuan. That's the pillar we were standing on top of there. Makes everything look closer than it really really uh is nice mountain over there but yeah this whole corner over here used to be a lake the water 
came in here. This is a good little squid farm. If you need some ink sacks, this is a great place to come because right now there's not much else that can spawn here except these guys. Oh, hey, die. And see, like four ink sacks. Having a looting sword is very helpful. So yeah, uh, so anyway, I'm gonna get started on this. It's been uh, it's been delayed a little bit. It's partly because it's a super big. Hey, there you go. It's a super big project, and it's just gonna be it's gonna be long and tedious, a little bit tedious. Oh, so I don't uh, look at this. They just keep spawning. Uh, so it's going to be, it's going to be a long-term project to come out and do a little bit of work on it and, uh, and then keep going. Yeah, look at this, 28 ink sacks. So I might keep this as a, uh, it's kind of a squid farm, manual squid farm, but squid farm nonetheless. Yeah, see, we're doing pretty good. I need to fill this in and there's a lot of work to be done, but this is uh yeah, this is the area. Let me take a little walk here. And so this is uh this there's not a space this large in the desert where I started mining sand and pulling down that mountain. But it's good because all that sandstone's gonna become very useful here. So the uh the pillar there is more or less at the center of the whole plot. These torches, these row of torches sort of outline the outside, and then I've got torches spaced on the inside uh, every five blocks to keep it lit up and reduce spawns. This is the midway point, and it keeps going this way. Oh yeah, and there's, there's one of these little uh, oases uh, wells here, which is kind of cool. Uh, I may have to tear this down, but that's fine. I can relocate it if I needed to. So yeah, and I collected, uh, I cleared out all the dead bushes and the cactus. So there's quite a few of those. And I need to, I need to do some landscaping. I need to tear this down to match uh, the level over by the village. So I need to tear that down a little bit. So like this will have to come down and there's some work to do. It's going to be, as I said, very time consuming, a little bit tedious, but a big good Zen activity and I don't have to do it on camera. So, so yeah. And I think from the center here, when the sun does go down, I think, uh, it's all the, I got the area lit up far enough that nothing's going to be able to spawn. So I can actually stand in the center all night long and not have to worry which is uh, kind of cool. I do need to light up some more of the surrounding area, but I can wait on that a little bit. So, so anyway, this is a uh, side of future project. Uh, a lone spruce tree in the middle of the desert as my uh, wood supply, because I needed a lot of uh, torches, as you can tell. And I used uh, charcoal for the most part to make these torches. So I just kept growing large spruce trees and smelting them up for charcoal. So there you go. There are some caves down here, which I'm going to need to go and deal with. This is not one of them, but uh, I think this goes down to one here. So I've lit up some of this, but the cave system seems to be somewhat extensive. Uh, and I was starting to get lost, so oh, some iron. Oh, yeah, that's right. And there's a huge ravine in here. So oh, it must be right below the portal too. So I need to go down in the ravine and light things up. Okay. One less creeper in the world. So, need to do some of that. Hello, Mr. Mushroom. 
Oh, the sun is going down. Okay, hang on a second. Let me uh, wait for the sun to go down here and we'll climb up there and show you the nighttime view. It's so funny that in Minecraft, sunset happens when it's parallel to your eye, regardless what the, the surrounding landscape looks like. When we're this high up, ooh, don't fall. Uh, the sun doesn't actually go down. It doesn't actually go past the horizon until it's significantly later than sunset which is weird. Anyway, here it is, nighttime, and you can see here's the whole area. Now I'm at, I'm at Y133 or 132, and I've got the whole area lit up, so we shouldn't see any spawns down there. And certainly from me, me being this high up, we shouldn't see anything spawn outside the perimeter. Uh, though I do need to go and light more of it up. So from here, we can see almost all the way out to view distance. There's nothing going on, which is pretty cool. Um, you can see my tree down there and you can see the portal and the bed is behind the tree or under the tree, something like that. So anyway, this is, uh, this is this and this area, this down here, this area, that's, that's the floor level of everything. Oh, village is actually elevated. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Okay, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, and I don't need to completely flatten out the entire area, but uh, I will need to flatten some of it out. But anyway, just want to show you that quick little update on what's going on. Um, I will going to get back to work preparing my uh, ender chest and uh, for the next big project which will be recording at some point in the next few days, I think, and maybe recording along with uh, VexFX. We'll go and uh, take care of some business that have been wanting to take care of for a while. Uh, but, uh, and then I need to continue working on this place and uh, starting to build what I'm gonna build. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. This is Theron and this is Minecraft Land Party. Bye.